Hello everyone, EM Fresh back here again today with a little something different for you. Um, as you can see here, I am flying my drone uh, over Rocky Gap Resort and Casino. And you're probably asking, why are you doing this? Why are you here? Why aren't you riding? Well, the answer to that question is I was supposed to be riding at Kakapon or Kakapon State Forest Trails today, but I am so, so, so mad. And the reason why I'm mad is because when I get up there, I find out that they are doing a controlled hunt, a controlled deer hunt. It's funny because I was just talking about that um, for, uh, I believe, uh, Water Smith uh, video and how I saw no deer. Um, so um, I am s sort of perturbed. You know, I am perturbed because of that. Um, but uh, luckily and thankfully, uh, I'm going to go back there uh, on Friday and uh, with some of my buddies here and you've probably seen them hopefully Roger and uh, and Larry and uh, hopefully we'll be able to ride that at that time um, but as you can see here in the video um, I'm here I'm trying to relax myself and where I'm riding I'm riding around a uh, loop it's called the lakeside loop and uh, I rode this with my uh, wife when we had on our e-bikes when I was very, very, very big, <laughs> like over 280. And I had a hard time on the e-bike. But now about, uh, you know, three or four years later, as you can see, I am able to paddle on my high tower with ease. And so um, it's actually quite relaxing and quite fun to ride around this trail here. Um, I can actually enjoy the view of the water. Though it is quite, quite cold um, right now. It is probably 38 degrees out. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's nice and warm because, I mean, you see the fall, you know, the fall leaves around. And if you stick with me for a little longer, uh, once I get off this side of the uh, lake here, on the other side, as you can see in the distance there, um, it's very, 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 uh, uh, well, you have all your orange and green leaves. It's very, very surreal on that side. Um, but this side is the resort side. It's pretty cool how they made this path here. They have, uh, it's nice and smooth. I mean, of course, they're going to keep it nice because they have the casino. And um, there's also a, uh, I guess, a campground here. I guess you can buy lots or rent lots out. And it uh, seems pretty nice. Because uh, I was trying to get into that camping thing, but I haven't, uh, I got bought the tent and the, uh, uh, we call it the uh, thing you lay on, the uh, bed thing, uh, cot. Um, but I haven't taken them out of the boxes yet, so. Um, I'm sort of just skipping past some of the parts here because uh, the trail builders are working on the trail and you're going to see them working and I sort of got a little lost here um, but it's very uh, very well marked um, and if you do get off track so you come here and ride um, you can just uh, just be sure to keep the uh, the lake on your left so if you venture off like where I'm going now and you don't see the lake anymore. <laughs> Just, you know, sort of make yourself back toward the left, sort of veer to the left. You see any passes, go to the left and you will come to the lake. And there, uh, so right now I'm trying to figure out where that, where the lake, I'm just trying to, to keep the lake to my left as much as possible. There's a whole bunch of little paths here. And I'm looking for those little signs there, or the little sticks in the ground that have the, that say uh, what the name of this trail is, which is Lakeside Loop. And um, looks like they built some more trails that go up into the hills. Like there's a fur loop, 
I didn't do those today um, because I just drove three and a half hours. Kind of hungry now. I had a granola bar. But, uh, um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm making my way to the other side of the uh, Rocky Gap Lakeside Loop. Like I say, very relaxing. Um, if you're skipping ahead, I always repeat myself a, a few times so you, so I know you jump around to see what's going on. Uh, there's a few uh, hikers out here. A lot of them have their headphones on and they can't hear me creep up behind them. Right here's where the, they start building the trail. Okay, so I've got to find the trail again. That's what I'm doing. And so because they, uh, I'm riding alongside the trail actually, uh, what I found out. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the lake to my left. Uh, and so here we go. I'm, I know it seems kind of weird that I'm riding on the asphalt here, but uh, I have to make myself back to that lakeside loop. And from the, uh, from the last time since I've been here, it looks like they put some more uh, campsites in. And so I'm a little bit uh, flabbergasted here. I'm like, where in the world is that lake? And uh, so it looks like they put a store in and I'm trying to make my best guess of where to go. And uh, I find I just go on luck here and just take this trail off to the right. And uh, cause I sort of hear the water. I can hear the water, but I can't see it. And uh, because it falls, you can see the leaves are covering the path. So I can't really tell. I'm just riding through the through the woods basically with no path <laughs> that I can see, you know. So, but see off in the distance you can see the, the lakeside loop, so uh, the or the lake actually. It's hard to believe I went that far away from it because I was just right beside it. So, uh, um, almost back there, and then I'll continue my ride. I just want to show you this in case you came up here and decided to ride and this is an easy ride this is an easy ride there are some roots here though there's some roots um as you're gonna see it gets really really rooty but luckily i have my uh, fox float 38 and uh, i feel absolutely nothing when i ride over those roots absolutely nothing and the grip is just unbelievable on that fox float 38 and the x2 on the back so it's very plush ride it's almost like I'm riding on that asphalt right there. And so, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I cough. <clears throat> um, so making, way, making our way back, trying to get as close to the lake as possible. And um, the last time I've been here, uh, how do we find this place? Uh, I, we, I, when I was in school, I went to Norfolk State University and uh, my parents had moved to Morgantown. That's where I live now. Um, and uh, I would ride, you know, from DC, coming to DC, I think 79 and 68, or 68, I believe. And uh, I always see this, that resort on the side, like what in the world? is a resort doing in the middle of nowhere like that i've never you know when i was that young i've never seen anything like this before especially mountains like there's all these trees and stuff because i was originally from uh i'm originally from california there's mountains there but there ain't there's no trees on there uh like dense trees unless you go up to like yosemite and uh places like that we have the redwoods and there's uh and uh trees like that and so I mean, the, I mean, it was just unbelievable to see these lakes just in the middle of nowhere, all these uh, resorts and stuff. So I've always seen it. And then um, uh, I get online and then I had a hard time trying to pinpoint where exactly it was because it's not like you're trying to search for it, but you don't know what it is. You know, that you, 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 we all had that uh, experience. And so, uh, when I was, I had to go to a Microsoft uh, developer conference for the, uh, we call it the, uh, the little virtual reality thing, yeah, I forget that, the VR goggles, 
that didn't happen. They're, they're, they're trying to make it work now, but, um, but we were coming back and I seen it and I said, take a picture, uh, Jerry, take a picture of that. And she took a picture of the sign. And then uh, we found out there was a casino inside. I was like, what, a casino? And then, uh, so on our anniversary, uh, three or four years ago, um, we decided to go up here to the, uh, to the Rocky Gap Resort for our, and it was absolutely nice. It was very, very nice. It was a hidden gem. And uh, there was a lot of retirees there. And it's like you're in Vegas or whatever. <laughs> they have the buffet, you know, make you feel comfortable. It's not too expensive because they know that you're gonna spend all your money uh, on the slots or whatever. Uh, when we play the slots, uh, I, only, I always take like $10. We each get like $10 and we put it in the machine and then try to pay the penny, penny slots or whatever. And then once it's gone, it's gone. We don't even bring our, 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 our wallets or credit cards or nothing. We just take the $10. And, uh, but Jerry, she, who's my lady luck, she, she won uh, $300. So when we win and get our money back, we just leave. So. I think they were trying to get us to, to stay and uh, spend our money more, you know, there. But uh, anyway, we had a pretty good time. The food is, is delicious. Uh, very relaxing, very, very relaxing. And um, <clears throat> uh, right here is, is pretty, like I say, it's relaxing. Um, the uh, I wish I had my buddies with me, you know, uh, riding today. But uh, um, I believe Roger had a, uh, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this on here, if he's listening. He had a, uh, uh, a death in the family. Um, one of my, uh, actually one of our photography clients, we have a, stu a photo studio. And um, I had no idea that I had done the photos for <laughs> For Roger's son, which is, you know, uh, and I'm not going to say his name here, but I think everyone in the area knows who he is. He's a very popular guy. But uh, I did his the engagement photo. It was surprise engagement sessions for him and his wife. But oh man, it's sad. I'm going to say there's tears in my eyes right now. I'm trying not to bawl. Um, his wife, uh, um, not Roger's wife. But uh, his son's wife, who I did the uh, surprise engagement photos for, uh, had passed away from COVID. I was like, oh my gosh. And I don't know if you guys remember what I was saying, like I was going really, really, you know, fast. I thought I was going fast, but I don't think I was going fast. I think Roger, you know, he was sad, you know, sad for me. I was, you know, I thought he was, you know, I was getting better, you know, <laughs> but uh, the man's really sad. So I want you all to take time to, uh, you know, just pray for Roger and his son, you know, and the family, you know. And that's why you see me riding alone here uh, um, the, on these next few videos. Since I, uh, uh, he's taking time to be with them. And uh, and uh, I miss Roger. You know? I'm, I'm, riding, you know, I'm riding along here. But I mean, it's cool riding sometimes by yourself. But it's not, I've not had as much... Uh, you know, fun. It's, you have to ride in a group. You know, every, you know, every now and again. Sometimes you want to ride by yourself, but but uh, but you know, it's nice riding with uh, other people because that's you know we're social beings. You know, but anyway, pray for Roger and, and his family in their in their time. You know, I'm really really sad right now. I'm actually mad actually, and I've got something to say about it, but I'm not going to say it because I have a lot of customers. And, a lot of customers and clients who work for that. Anyway, I'm not going to be quiet right now because I am upset. Anyone who knows me, you know, who knows that side of me, you know, I don't take things like if you mess with my, my, my fam and my friends, I don't like it, you know. You know, now, if you see me out in public and a lot of people recognize, you know, recognize me and I don't say anything to you, it doesn't mean I don't like you. I'm, my mind is preoccupied, okay? It doesn't mean I don't like you. I'm just thinking about a lot of other things, you know, you know, like, for example, I have a lot of, I have a few businesses, you know, I have the first facility, I've got uh, software, software uh, company, uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm trying to think about a lot of things, and so, 
He's almost like I'm a zombie. My wife said, oh, you're a zombie. You're, you know, it's not funny. You know, you're all kind of autistic or whatever. Well, you know, I'm just thinking about other things. So I'm very programmatic in some of the things. So um, I don't have any mental health issues or anything like that. But, you know, I had to go. <laughs> she made me go to, uh, to uh, you know, see somebody, you know, because I'm talking you know, you know, I, I'm trying to talk. That's my main reason why doing this. I'm trying to talk. We'll be more social. So I do spend a lot of t time alone just doing, you know, especially now on the online uh, the, uh, COVID thing where everything's remote. We're more remote. But before that, I was already work working remote, you know, yeah, before that for the last 12 years. So I've spent a lot of time alone, you know, in the house. So and riding the bike is good, you know, and not getting fat, not getting, uh, uh, so if you see me, I have like a grimace on my face or something, like I'm thinking, or no expression, you know, I'm not, don't, it doesn't mean I don't like you or whatever, or this and that, you know, because I remember I, uh, I'm turning to a bit of a YouTube star, if you're going to say, my, so, say so myself, I, was, I don't have that many uh, followers or anything, but, and I just say something about YouTube. They might be suppressing my views because I was at uh, when I was at Killington and stuff like that. And I just started this, you know. I just started this, and I'm not doing this for money or anything. But it just got me thinking. Like everybody knew who I was, you know, when I was there. It's like, hey, Ian Fresh. Like, what the heck? Kind of make me self-conscious. I'm a kind of an introvert, you know. <laughs> like, who? You, who why do you know who I am, you know? I'm on the internet, but I'm not on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I'm on there. I do, you know, a lot of things. You start looking, you'll see, you know, uh, back in the day, you know, I was a you know, music producer and stuff. But, uh, you know, when I first, you know, my very, very first job and stuff. And, you know, I had some hiccups there. It wasn't an easy time, but like it is in your younger years, you know, but. I think I, we think I just might make it, you know, we think I just might make it, you know, so uh, things are going pretty good. I'm trying to relax more, get my, you know, keep my weight off, you know, I'm getting, getting older now, you know, trying to stay positive and watch me go on the stairs. Yes. Yep. So it would never be as daring as that, you know. <laughs> it's good to ride my bicycle down the stairs. <laughs> but of course the shocks do help, of course. Alright, um, but this is a very, very beautiful scenery. And like I said before, I'm going to say it another time. Right? If I see you out and you see me and I'm not staring at you or I keep my head down or something, I'm just thinking about, I guess, some business things, especially going on right now at the end of the year. Very busy at the studio and then on uh, some of my other just busy you got problems people ain't paying you know you got all sorts of sorts of things you know you got to collect you got to be a collector you got to be a janitor you know and it's hard to find uh, good employees anymore i mean i mean i think uh you know it's hard to just it's, our world is changing you know for the better in my opinion i mean i'm a bit of a tech nerd uh if you as you probably noticed and uh, I think that uh, I don't think anyone should be working because we're so technology advanced. But I think the newer generation know this. Like, you know, you're trying to make them flip burgers and go to school. They have access to all this knowledge on the Internet, you know, and uh, they and and it's just logical. It's the evolution of, you know, evolution of life you know like you know why do in programming you have a thing called do not repeat yourself <laughs> you know if you if you can repeat yourself it can be programmed see what i'm saying so this to me there's no reason why we should anyone should be working should be able to be riding their bike or just watching tv or walking or going to disneyland you know and being creative you know thinking of new ideas no one should be hungry no one should be starving you know I believe money is obsolete, you know, but the, these old, you know, the old money, you know, it's just money just keeps you, you know, keeps you down. Like it keeps you people chasing after nothing, you know, and it doesn't help our race. You know, we're a planet, you know, you know, it's uh, anyway, I'm going to 
I'm gonna shut up and I'll start talking about stuff that people, this process is kind of weird. But yeah, that's what I think. And you think about technology, think about what's happening, think about the cars, you know, think about technology and the way things uh, work, you know. We, things are getting fast, we can go places faster. Do things faster, you know. For example, editing this video, what it took me 10 years ago, probably, you know, a week to render this video out. And this is 4K, uh, but now it takes me two minutes, you know, on this, uh, on my uh, Mac here, my iMac. It's really fast. This is long. I, I had, you know, this is like an hour of footage I'm condensing down with the kind of color and everything. But anyway, uh, we'll talk about it in the next video. Uh, next, you'll probably see me at uh, either Alameda. I'm trying to ride Alameda if I can get a buddy to ride. And then uh, before that, you'll probably see, hopefully, Larry and Roger. We'll be riding to, at uh, Kakapon Resort in Berkeley Springs. Those trails there. It's getting kind of cold, so the videos might sort of sort of stop. You know, sort of it won't be as many videos. I have a lot of people ask me what am I using, what kind of bike, all this stuff. You'll see a lot of uh, like how to install spacer, you know, stuff on my channel on my uh, website too. Um, anytime you uh, want to see, just go to freshtothextreme.com. Yeah, freshtothextreme.com. You'll be able to uh, see all the videos, um, and there's a reason why I have the website. Okay, and uh, but anyway, this is it's it, it, that's it. Almost back to the van. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you stayed along this far, if you haven't hit subscribe, greatly appreciate it. And uh, see you soon.